Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am It's Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Runaways Season 3 Episode 9 called Broken Circle. So Gert is checking on Molly and uh, Lace and then she FaceTimes them. Then we cut to where Molly's going to be a sacrifice. <sighs> And then we cut to where Wilder wakes up and overhears Morgan with Molly. And then Alex is acting very weird. And then here's Carolina and Nico. And then they talk to Alex and they hug. Then Gert talks to Chase and basically dumps her feelings. And he is looking at colleges for her. And um, he wasn't really paying attention <laughs> at all. And then she kissed him, and then we cut to where Wilder talks to Tamar and wants to help the kids. So the parents roll up and try to enact a plan, and Morgan's doing the spell, and one thing that Nico's mom said is while Morgan's doing the spell, they can't, they can't move. They have to complete the spell no matter what. Then Molly got hit by lightning, which gave them, like, apparently energy. And then Wilder got Molly, and then we had Nico's mom, and Wilder got, like I said, got her. But, um, basically, Molly kind of threw Mr. Wilder, and he got hurt, but they still managed to get her into the car and knock her out and drive off. The spell worked regardless, and now the parents show up at the mansion. And Nico's mom said Morgan is bringing the Dark Dimension to the real world and they're trying to think of a plan and they're going to be working together. So the parents and the kids are, are actually going to be working together. Then Jeffrey's in massive fame, which is Mr. Wilder. On, and then Stacy, Gert's mom, gets supplies and then goes to talk to Alex. Then Gert and Molly talk. Then Carolina and the mom talk and they're worried about Nico. Then Dale asks a weird question about, um, I think, to Caroline about her alien genetics plot can block spells. So that's helpful. Uh, then Victor and Chase talk to the mom and they're working on the tower. Uh, talk to Chase's mom, Janet, and they're working on trying to block the towers because apparently that's also a source of Morgan's power. Then Nico's mom does um, a protection spell and they might be able to send her back thanks to Nico's dad reading that book and putting it on the glasses of Liz Tech, glasses that recorded it. Then Morgan's army is trying to cross over. Then Gert walks up Lace because she does it. If something happens to Gert, uh, that Lace won't go crazy banana pants <coughs> and eat people. Then we cut to where Victor and Janet have a plan to um, disrupt the towers. Then Chase found a phone and got brainwashed. But they got him out of it and then Morgan shows up. Then Nico hit her with that um, shadow like spear thing that um, Cloak and Dagger gave her. But it didn't work and she absorbed it. And tells them to submit and they say no. Then Alex does and the game does Oh my god, who the hell is doing yard work? Anyway, uh, I'll have to run through this. So, um, Alex, so the game's a mess and the towers are going offline thanks to Janet and then Morgan's getting weak. Then the group do a fake out and Carolina backs Nico with her powers to uh, help with the onslaught of Morgan trying to take over Nico. Then we cut to where, um, uh, uh, then Chase helps um, KO some of the witches that also got into the mansion. He KO'd one of them, then he got knocked out by the other one, and so Alex took care of the other witch. And um, then, Kurt, then Gert mocks Morgan and puts her in a circle, no, but not before Gert got hurt by the chandelier. And so right when she closed the circle, Morgan couldn't go anywhere. And then Nico's mom sends her back and the sky is starting to clear up. But Gert got really hurt and she is gone and Elise broke out. And that was the end of the episode. I just finished this episode. Oh my god. I cannot believe they got rid of Gert. That was a shocker. Kind of foreshadowing when Gert said I'm gonna put Lace in um, a thing so if something happens to her she won't go banana pants on everybody and start eating people. 
Um, I gave this episode A+. Plus. I do like the, um, everything that happened in the episode. I uh, shot that actually off Gert, so that actually really surprised me a lot. But overall, I thought it was a great episode. I love the fight scenes and everything, but, you know, I was, I was like, what's going to happen for the final episode? <laughs> so, I uh, wanted to see what happens after I watch it. <laughs> So, um, anyway, that's what I'm doing for this video. So, like this video, please give it a like. Comment down below what you think of the episode. Or were you as shocked as I was? Is anyone even watching this? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's for my own benefit because I like to at least finish out series that I watch. So, I still got a ton to do now that it's like quarantine time. By the way, this is uh, probably should coming out like in May or something. I'm recording this in March. So, anyway. That's one for this video, so I say please, if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, tell me what you think, be agree, disagree, tell me your thoughts down below. Thank you to the new subscribers who have subscribed. It's been going up um, a decent amount, and I'm kind of happy about that. Anyway, um, I really appreciate it, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, everybody.